Hey everyone, I'm here with Dennis Clendenden. We've been going over his name. Yeah, it's all I learned in first grade, so you're doing a lot better than I did the first 10 years uh, of my life. That's a challenging name. We're backstage at Charlotte Ronson. Uh, Dennis, what is your title with Aveda? Oh, I have a lot of titles. I'm from the floor sweeper to assisting with the leads, and then I have a few shows that I lead on my own, so I'm all over the place. So Which I'm is so exciting because not only does he assist, he leads, and he is a staple at Fashion Week. I mean, how many have you done? This is my 21st season. So. Whoa! I didn't expect that answer. I didn't even know it's been going on for 21 Don't 21 tell anyone I'm that old. Yeah, it's like... Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is what our audience wants to know. How, does, how do you get into this? How do you become part of Fashion Week as a professional stylist, makeup artist, manicurist, the whole thing? The whole thing is like, well, Aveda has a program that you can go and take the classes with John Raymond, and that can get people to step into doing Fashion Week. So if you go take the classes at the Aveda Institute, then you're guaranteed to do some shows at Fashion Week. So it's a great way to get in and make that connection. And the main thing is you have to know people to get in. It's, it's like this secret little club, but you have to make the connections. And once you do that, you're in. and you do a great job, you stay in. Okay, so how do you get in the secret little club? That's the big question. Yeah, take the class. This is the biggest thing. Take the class at the Aveda Advanced Academy with John Raymond. They do oh, that. Wow, that, that it really yeah. is good advice. Yes. And you know, I know we're here for Aveda, but I mean, at the other companies, take classes there and just get to know the people who do these kinds right. of Right, and make those connections with the people that do the shows because nobody's going to come knock on your door and go, hey, I heard you were a great hairdresser. We want you to do Fashion Week. Doesn't happen. So you have to put yourself out there with the people that do the shows and let them know that you want to do it and that you have the skills to do it, and then you can do it. But that's the biggest thing you have to do. You have to present yourself as you want to do it and want to learn how to do it. All right, so after 21 seasons, I'm, I'm assuming you like it because you wouldn't be coming back. What is the best part of doing Fashion Week? The best part is working with the designers and going through the whole process of seeing what the inspiration is, seeing what the clothes look like, seeing what their vision is, hearing the story, and then watching it all come together from the designers to the stylist at your show, to what we do with the hair, to what happens with the makeup, and then the whole production at the end. And it's always so anticlimactic a lot of times because you can see this build up, build up, build up, build up, and then the show's over in 15 minutes, and you're like, wow, that's it. But it's it's 15 minutes. You've been to a long show. I've yeah. never I've never seen one go 15. Yeah, yeah but that, yeah, that is a long one. But it's most of the time it's 15 minutes or less, and it's over. And it's all you see all that hard work that the designers done, the hairdressers have done, the makeup artists, the stylists are putting it all together, and then watch it all come together, and then 15 minutes or less, bam, it's done. And so your unique perspective, being a lead at some shows and assisting at other shows, which is more challenging? Assisting. It's because when you're assisting, you don't know what happened when the lead was at the test. And so then you come in kind of blind. And so you come in and you watch whoever the lead is, do that look, you know, do that first demo for you in 15 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever it takes. And then you have to learn how to do all those little things that make that look happen. Because a lot of times people think, oh, you're going to do a French twist or a ponytail. A lot of times what happens at the test, there's a little tweak on that ponytail. That's what makes it unique for that designer show and that's what you really have to pay attention to so it's really learning to mimic what somebody else does and it's not really about what you already know because nobody cares it's all about that designer show all right so um two other things number one i want to ask you about this we were talking about this probably takes you longer to do this than it does for a show to go on what, what do you get up every morning saying and braid my whatever this is <laughs> this I cut it off once. I grew it out just as a joke, and then it, it got longer and longer. And then I cut it off a couple, about three seasons ago. And I came back the season after that without it, and everybody was freaking out. All the photographers, all the magazine people, everybody's like having a heart attack. Where's your thing? And I'm like thinking, how do you know anything? But I was, they were talking about this, and so I was like, oh my god. So I grew it back, and so now it's become like a trademark thing. So it's I can't get it's your signature it. thing. I mean, that's what people are calling it—a thing. It's a thing, yeah. Because I, I don't know what it is. It's well, a, I like it. It's, it's a braid of um, of whatever that is. Whatever that is. I, it's a mole. Don't, my doctor said, don't touch it. <laughs> hey, you know, guys, guys, if they have things they want to hide on their faces, you, yeah. you've got a little magic going on. Yeah. All right. Last question. 
I know you're all about Aveda, but then all of a sudden, are you, something like this appears. You know, we have all these great T3 products, and are these the kinds of things, are they, are they thrust into your hand? I mean, are, do you know how to use them? We're having a little trouble picking it up here, but we've got these, these oh. That's why. That's why. It's it's jumping into my purse. How that odd. <laughs> oh, I kind of like that. Or you can talk into yeah, that one. So, I mean, books. something like that. These things are thrust into your hands, and you're expected to know how to use that. What, what is the challenge there? Well, it's not really a challenge. A lot of times when you're doing the shows, a lot of the product companies like T3 has done will give us products and tools to use. And so it's great exposure for them, but it's also great for us because we get to try new things. And, you know, it's like... Being a guy hairdresser, the first thing we do is throw the instructions away, and then we pick it up and we go, oh, how does this work? And then we figure it out. And the cool thing about that is a lot of times we come up with different things to do with it that it was really originally designed for. So it's a lot of fun. I love like a microphone. Oh, yeah, like a mic. No, it's a microphone. You know, it's like, yeah, but. All right, well, thank you so much for this time. I know the models are coming back in, and Dennis Clendenden. Cl oh, good. Oh, it was oh, good. That was amazing. I've written yeah. it so many times that now I know how to pronounce it. Thank you so much, and enjoy the rest oh, of the show. Oh, thank you. Okay, Great we'll to see you. you. All right, thanks. Bye.